nice. Tammy Dupree had her life changed 180 degrees. Wow. Well done, guys. Awesome. Well done. Talk about having your life changed. Imagine this. 25 bands, 20 DJs, 3 stages, no all at the 5FM Billabong Pro Surf Competition. How nice. amazing is that? That is amazing. How about this? 4 VIP tickets to go there. Wow. How do you get to win That is very easy though? because we're giving away 4 VIP tickets plus a whole lot more. All you need to do is answer the following question. The 5FM Music Festival and the Billabong Pro Surf Competition is taking place where? Is it A. Uppington, B. Bloemfontein or C. J. Bay? So SMS surf, answer A, B or C and your name is 3-3-7-2-8. If you have missed that, check this out. Win the ultimate getaway for you and your mates to experience the 5FM Music Fest, Rocket and Jeffrey's Bay during the 2012 Billabong Pro. Three days of pure musical mayhem hits the town from 13th till the 15th of July. The exciting lineup includes none other than Toya DeLazy, Mikasa, DJ Fresh and Euphonic and the world's number one dance label, Ministry of Sound. You could win a surfboard signed by Jordy Smith and Toya DeLazy, four VIP festival tickets, 4,000 rands worth of festival food and beverage vouchers, and accommodation. To enter, SMS the keyword, surf your name and city to 33728 today. Coming up on Expresso, meet the celeb of the day. The presenters put a twist on a new SA tourism adventure and meet one rad granny of the week. Stay with SABC3. Or talking about sport. <clears throat> Australia, New Zealand, we got fast nights. New Zealand. I have to ask a favor, please don't mention spa. Can't we say like spa pretty ass? Not at all. Pick a pay our cheap sponsor. But can I say something like um, uh, Naples, South Africa, and spa working together? Welcome. Back, you're live with SABC3. It is Expresso on a wonderful Wednesday morning. Why? Because Cape Town has been inundated with netballing stars. Bongi, welcome. Vanessa Marie de Toy, welcome, guys. Of course, you are part of the SA national squad, but you are down here representing the universities of South Africa. And man, it looks like the standard of university netball is fantastic. Let's talk about the tournament. A brilliant start, two wins under the belt. Ireland seemed to present some challenge. Definitely. Ireland is a very competitive. They've been moving up in the ranks um, for, from the World Cup. Um, they play a very competitive game, very short passing that we're not very used to, but we adapted and we pulled it through. Bongi, it looked like you had a fantastic game against Zimbabwe yesterday. That was a definitive <laughs> win. What is the standard of netball like in Africa? Is South Africa kind of head and shoulders above or the others catching up? Um, I think they will try and catch up, but for now, I think we like staying top, and that's our like big challenge to stay in top uh, in Africa, so as to be able to compete on a national level. But yeah, we're looking forward to try and pull up our socks because that's what our deal, and we have to show people we can do it. Is there a lot of pressure on you guys? I know there's a lot of focus on our national teams. Netball has a long way to go. You know, we we're still not seeing it represented at the Olympics. Mm. It needs a lot more representation. Um, what is it like? Balancing life, obviously varsity on one side, semi-professional career. Is there enough support for you guys? 
Um, not, a, not, not that much. Um, we've got support from our universities, um, our lecturers and stuff. They understand when we need to go on tour. <laughs> we, need to, um, yeah, we need to make plans um, to organise our tests and organise our tasks and everything around our netball because our country comes first and that's our pride and we do that because we love our game. Um, secondly, we don't, we, we're a non-professional sport. It's not semi-professional, it's like non-professional. Non-professional, man. Yes, but yeah. um, we're getting there. Um, we've got great sponsors and we just, yeah, we need, to, we need to keep focused. Like, we do it because we love the game. And at the end of the day, that's the reason why we're playing this and the rest is just a bonus. Bongi, you have joined the national squad, but of course you've had to work your way through the ranks. How important is it for young netball players to get into a good university system and use that as a springboard to make it into the national side or to further their career as a netball player? Um, I think at first what's important is um, to try and make your level as top as you can. Um, the university will come last because I'm in Durban University of Technology and like netball is not that top there but then because I know um, at which level I perform, I know my tasks, I know what I need to do uh, to, to keep up the level. So you can um, maybe in a good way try and get the university that is top in sports but then you should, um, out of all, you should try and make um, yourself be uh, ready for whatever you are situated to do. So it's on your shoulders. Yes, it's our responsibility. <laughs> Vanessa, I know you were suffering from an injury. How's the yes. season going for you? How are you feeling now, especially in the throes of a competition like this? Well, we've been, we've been, we just got back from Jamaica. We were at the, the tour and directly after Jamaica. I think we had four days rest yeah. and then we came to Cape Town and we, we're doing the, um, the university challenge. Directly after this, the, um, the Pretia national team, um, they're going to be arriving in Cape Town on the 6th, on Friday. And then we're starting on Monday with our um, test series against Ireland. So <laughs> we're going to, we're just finishing up the university challenge. Um, the final will take place on, on um, Saturday at the Good Hope Centre. And then um, on Sunday, or on Saturday after the final, we meet, we'll meet up with the Pratia team. And then on Sunday, we'll probably train. And then on Monday, we're, we're doing our first test series. And then, yeah. So an unbelievable few weeks ahead. Yeah. We will definitely be getting down to the Good Hope Centre to catch you in yeah, action. What's your next game? Um, uh, to this afternoon, USA. USA. We're playing Ooh, USA. Teach them yes. a lesson. We Welcome them to South Africa, all right? <laughs> Ladies, thank, thank you. you so much for joining us this morning. We'll be following your progression very closely over the coming weeks. But I hope you know that coming on to Expresso is a good luck charm to oh. all sports people. <laughs> so you've got it in the bag. <laughs> Vanessa, right. thank you so much. Bongi, thank Thanks. you so much for joining us. I know thank it's going to be a long day for you guys, but um, all the best of luck and thank enjoy you. it. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right, Kia is standing by to continue this mad run on a Wednesday. Wednesday morning, then we get back into your express headlines and of course all of our sporting headlines, quite a few to catch up. We're going to get our celeb of the day. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.